Hello everyone, Alicia426 here, and this is a mining tutorial for uh, Duino Coin. In this tutorial, we're going to go over using and installing the binary and using the Python script pcminer.py or .py to mine Arduino Coin. Now, the first thing we have to do is from the releases. Uh, we need to download our Linux because this tutorial is for Linux systems. So we're going to go just to the releases. I'll link it in the description. Right click, open location. If you're in Firefox, if you're in Chrome, I think it just says copy link. And we're going to download it with wget and the URL. And that will download it. If you don't have wget, which most of you should, in Debian and Ubuntu based systems. So for example, I'm running Linux Mint um, with some uh, very hard UI customization. So, and but in Debian Ubuntu, this should apply for all Debian-based and Ubuntu-based distributions. Everyone that everything that uses the apt package manager, you should do sudo apt install wget, and later we're gonna install zip unzip. Those two will help us. And in some Debian systems, make sure you have Python 3-pip. Okay, so we're gonna make sure we have all of these. And as you can see, they are all installed here. So for the sake of brevity, I have already downloaded my zip file. Let's extract it. Zip, you just do unzip and our zip file. It will extract it in this directory and now you can see if we ls we have the code for the Arduino, the ESP, ESP8266, all of those and then we have PC miner and wallet. In this case this is already marked as executable not no need to run chmod but if you change it from its folder or if you download it from somewhere else you would just need to do this chmod plus x and then the pc minor stuff and that will just make it executable but in case in this case it's already yes that's highlighted by the green so we just do dot forward slash pc minor and it's going to take a little bit to start i'm going to have to enter my duino coin username obviously enter yours if you enter mine well i'll be very grateful 426. Uh, in this case, since I'm, this is just a test and I do not want to uh, stress my computer too much because, you know, this is a venerable old laptop, I'm just going to do 50% load and one thread. I will say yes to the uh, low difficulty. However, in most PCs, you should say no or N. Uh, and we have the mining intensity. I'm rec recommending 95 is good. You just put 95 in there. Mining threads, it'll tell you how many threads your system has, in this case two. I recommend all threads, if not almost all threads. All threads is what's recommended. And finally, uh, we're gonna add an identifier to our rig, a name. Uh, my laptop's name Yagensi out of Iroquois uh, mythology, creation mythology, and it also happens to be a mountain in Venus. Developer donation level, let's just, you know, give back to the community. So it really configures itself, tells you thank you for the donation, this is a really polite, you know, with 50% efficiency. It'll mine, It'll if I wait for it to mine, it's going to take... Um, well, eons. So I'm just gonna. Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna do the second, and there we go. So that's mining with. That's mining with the binary. But what if you're on an ARM chip or the binary just doesn't work? It's giving you errors. That's okay. We can run the Python script, but we have to make sure we have Git installed. So sudo apt install git sometimes it's not installed we have git and no worries so now we're gonna head out 
to the GitHub, and again I'll link this in the description, and we just go code. Copy this URL, and click on the little copy file, and then just git clone. Okay, so you see what I did there, right? Right now it's going to take a while to download everything. And this, um, the same way you run the miner, you can run your wallet, and the same the same way you can run the CLI wallet, although I personally prefer the GUI one. And I'm probably going to edit this. Alright, we have now received our, um, we have now received everything here. So we should list, and now we have uh, Duino-Coin, so let's just, let's just cd into that. See what's in there, and there's the code. Now for the PC miner that Pi, uh, we don't really need to do anything just out of habit. Sometimes I do ch mod plus x just to mark it as executable. You know, like that, and then we check it, and it's executable now. What we need to do in my case, I've we need to run it with Python 3. So what you would do is Python 3, then pcmarner.py. You hit enter. CPU info is not installed. P Miner will try to install it. It just does those, you know? It will go through the setup and just download the packages from the Python package index. This should be fine. If you get any errors, uh, just ping me on the Discord and I'll be able to help you. Once again, let's do 95. This no, 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 no. I don't want to. All right, 50. One thread. Lower difficulty. And there we go. We are mining. There's a mining thread, and it should start at some point. What? What? Um. What the miner here is doing is installing Python libraries or modules that aren't installed on your system. So if it gives you an error, most of the time, I'm going to um, exit out of this. I'm going to terminate the process. Most of the time you can use pip uh, or pip3 in some Debian system. In my case, it's pip to install a certain Python module. Let's say, I think I not already have it installed. This isn't used here, but NumPy is uh, a very, you know, common Python module. It just searches the database. It says it's already installed. So, for example, the CPU info, that kind of stuff, it's going to tell me it's already installed, maybe. Well, oh, pi-cpu info. See, it's... We gotta read. We gotta read. And requirement already satisfied. So that is how we mine with the PC miner. Uh, I'm going to do after this a video going more in depth into some troubleshooting issues and also I'll probably make instruction videos about setting in uh, setting it up on with my Docker miner. And when I get Bulldozer to work, using that for the for the mobile miner. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, take care.